coming in from this Matilda. But Amores waiting for the right uh, right time going in, dodging away from the Earth Shatter. But now here comes in the big engage, the Black Dragon form coming in from Moshi towards the back line as a DPS from the Angry Glooms of Navi comes through. We jump now to Al Puerto with the Moral Call trying to get out of the situation, but it might be too much to handle. Ability tools available. Watch for a big penalty zone as Fivero makes a very aggressive move. But look at Amores getting hit by the Earth Shatter. But Black Shoes out of the situation. Now with that penalty zone coming on in the middle, Moshi tries to deter the rest of the team, but it won't be available. He dives in towards the back as Diagon finally gets hitting. Now Vivero gets taunted up. Seems to be a four-man play towards the turret, but Vivero comes in with a circling eagle. Going it going defensively backwards and now looking for a chance to maybe take Uwe out of where the comes in. Going in with the mortal call, trying to get a decimate, but in the back line, Yui Fendi with the blazing duet shuts down Vivero and the black dragon from comes in. Moshi takes out Perez. And just like that, the Philippines are once again on the back foot, fighting under the turret as Uwe lands an Earth Shatter, but they might have been a bit too aggressive right here. Diagon Ooh. is coming in, swinging. Wait a second, Earth Shatter? Diagon getting jumped on, but on the other side, Vivero going in to try and take out Moshi along with the help from Perez, but now she gets caught in, but that penalty zone from Diagon might have shifted the attention just far enough as Amores is trying her best to try and output that damage, but it's not going to be enough. A place of wrath doesn't land in with the taunt. Won't be enough. The Black Dragon form will be popped up and it's zoning everyone away. The Philippines are deciding to stay right here, but Al Puerto is going to be taking a lot of damage, a lot of attention, but that's going to be a kill picked up by Amores in the midst of the chaos. Vivero will be falling, but Al Puerto what? Still running for the hills. What is going on right here? The Lord gets taken off by Uwe, but at the same time, Yui Fendi picks up a shutdown, fighting on multiple fronts as Perez tries to survive with the onward, gets purified out. She survives here as Diagon zones Moshi away. He's pushing on the bottom side. Like you said, Eterna, that brain play, but the Black Dragon form comes in for a massive, massive flank. All chaos breaks loose, but that's going to be a penalty zone in the midst of the chaos. The Philippines fighting under their turrets, doing a lot more damage. Uwe now trying to survive, but with the chase coming in from Vivero with the guiding wind, that's going to be the Philippines taking out a clean sweep. Three for nothing, and they are still coming through. Amores with the guiding wind, catching a go for turrets. No way. No way are they going to get an inhibitor turret, right? Not like this. Earth Shatter going to be utilized there. But they will be able to Cambodia in the top and the bottom lane. But it looks like another skirmish has happened. Ooh. Yui Fendi goes down. Arashi! Uwe comes in with the Primal Wrath to try and win this fight out. But the Black Dragon arrives, taking one. Most likely taking two as spring to try and clear that wave out. Oh, that's a big signal. It's a big signal for Cambodia to go in for the push, and it looks like they see it. With two members on the top side, they have the man advantage, and the Black Dragon form gets opened up. It's gonna be him going in with the with the crown, though. That's a blazing duet from Yui Fendi doing a lot of damage. But here comes the rest of the roster from the Philippines. They're making a play for the Lord still as Perez picks up a kill, but Kegami will be the one to secure that Lord. And that will be four members down, one more left for the side of the Philippines. Most likely going down right here, and that will be it. Double kill to seal the deal. And with the Lord and with the minion wave on the bottom, Cambodia, they can go for the end. This is it. We're going to game number three. No way they go for the defense. Ladies and gentlemen, Cambodia have fought back. They understand the risks. They understand the importance. Chance to use this Lilia and poke out the members of Cambodia. But look oh, at the first what? butt on top though. Fivero won't be able to save Al Puerto. One 2v2 actually, along with Perez. Uwe tries to get for Vivero here on the Tigreal. Oh, see that no Moshi way. though. This is burning down Al Puerto. Oh, Uwe though, flickers. Now for the Philippines, as Tagami has all the XP levels in the world to go in, but look at that implosion. He's the back line, but it gets stopped though with the Eternal Guard dropped down as well. That's gonna be the turtle secured by Tagami to nobody's surprise. But Yui Fendi is in the area. After that zoning and that potential coming in from Cambodia, they are picking up the gas and Moshi Ooh. still... You're right, so they went in for a roster swap, a player swap? Wasn't even aware of that. Oh, wait a second. And the chain CC coming in with the vengeance still. Diagon won't be able to survive as Tegami comes... The damage from Yui Fendi actually onto the CC. What is going on? 
So a dive that tries to be responded to, but Alberto gets hit by the, the Eternal Guard. And look at Nabi getting out of the sticker situation. And look at the Spear of Destruction from your Fendi coming in. It's a pincer maneuver as the Philippines are taken out. Defense utilizing the Lilia. Uwe might try and go for a pickup here, but no, it's actually Tegami rolling in under the base. We've seen this before, but the F Cambodians, they don't care. They're going with the last insanity, even though that Tegami is taken out. Now without minions though, Uwe still in the front. Taken out finally by Alcaraz. That was, I mean, just chunked down. That's that new, all improved Lord damage. But look at Yui Fendi. Aggressive moves with the Abyss Walker forward. Lord gets low though, but that's gonna be the engage from Uwe. And look at Amores, forced back, pulled back into the fight. The last insanity demolishes the backline. Alcaraz trying to kite away from the bulk of it, having the shield available here to try and outplay, but it won't be enough. The Philippines lost three members in that engagement, and Cambodia can still go for the Lord. Yui Fendi going in, pinning Dragon to the wall, and she'll be taken out as well. The Lord might not even be necessary. Alcaraz against the world. Can she defend this? As the Cambodians, they go for a mid lane. Look at Alcaraz trying to go for the kills, trying to clear the waves at the same time, but eventually she will fall. Cambodia coming out on top against all odds against the Philippines. The underdog story reigns true, ladies and gentlemen, at ISF in our first match in the playoffs, in our semi-finals, as the Philippines have been eliminated out of their ISF run. And this means that it's official. Cambodia have successfully secured that first ticket over to Riyadh at WEC, where they will be able to represent their nation against the worldwide's best. Hi guys, how are you? How are you guys feeling? That was... Hello. An intense, intense uh, game and match as a whole. Did you guys expect that you would win it against the Philippines? We didn't. We didn't expect it to win. Like we try our best. I don't know how to say this. Like I'm so happy to win this match. Like it's so hard to play against them. You know. Yeah, for sure. I mean, a lot of these teams around the world, a lot of these regions have said that Philippines is one of the titans here at ISF. And a lot of teams have actually been anticipating meeting them. But you're like, nah, I'd win. And you guys actually do move forward over. Congratulations. Like, how are you guys feeling? You guys are going to be the first team to win that slot to go to Riyadh at WEC. So happy. <laughs> happy and excited. That's great to hear. All right.